Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As usual, guys, when I have any information that I want to share with you all, I like to create a video very quickly, preferable something less than five minutes. So it's easy for you to remember, to watch, and to digest. Guys, please subscribe to get notifications just like these when there are new content comes available. Now, as usual, guys, I'm trading on the market right now, so I will be speaking faster than usual. Now, today I want to give you guys a tip, Nokia. Nokia is a great investment for someone thinking long term. Guys, the future is 5G. We expect 5G to change the world in terms of a commercial and consumer use. We do know that 5G will speed things up just like that for you. Think about you downloading a file that takes you a minute. This exact same file will take you five to 10 seconds. We know everything in today's world is done by speed, whether it's social media, it's downloading, is data center, is cloud space, whatever you want to do, guys, 5G will make a huge difference. Now, I'm reading some news, which is very important today. It says Nokia um, have announced that they are very happy to announce that they launched the world's first commercially available. Remember, the world's first commercially available 5G standalone private wireless, guys. So this is a big leap for Nokia. They are jump ahead and launch this first. They specifically put on their site that this is not a test scenario. This is a live, confidently working solution that they believe put them ahead of the game. Guys, the stock is now trading just at $4.47. It's been flat for most of the last year, I would say. If you look back in the last one year, obviously, it's trading just around you know, between $5 to $2.50. Uh, that dip was during the Corona time, of course, but it's not doing much in the last two years because as you know, and that Nokia was the world's largest telecommunication company until the likes of Apple and Samsung that just kicked them to the curve. But again, guys, they're still a stable company when it comes to making equipment and making anything related to telecommunication. They're very reliable, guys. I'm telling you, they're very reliable. Um, you may not see Nokia in a smartphone or a tablet and etc but make no mistakes your local providers which is using for telecommunications or your cable companies most of their equipments are still nokia for example anyone that's using fiber equipments they do make those module cards so they're still big in the technological space mostly in europe but in terms of anything to function whether it's a modem whether it's um, a fiber card or anything to do with any kind of node that you have in your networking um, space, the Nokia is still existing largely. Now guys, the stock is trading just at $4.45. Um, we can see it at $4.47 today. It's still at a low price, I would say, but if, if anyone that's thinking to add a 5G company to their radar or in your portfolio, I would say definitely Nokia is a safe bet. Um, again, I never tell anyone what to buy and how to invest. I just give my personal opinion. It's for, entertainment purposes we're not liable for any loss of capital so if you guys need more information seek professional help but from an investment standpoint guys i'm letting you know right now that i am getting at least 300 shares myself just to make sure that if, if it does boom i have something there no i know with 5g the stock will rise from four dollars and 47 cents it's just a matter of how long will it get there so for anyone that's thinking of adding a company that's um, safer, is a safer bet, it may not give you a larger profit, but at least you will know that you're invested in something to do with the 5G in a sense. So again, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I promise I want to keep it short because I'm currently trading and I just thought I'll just make a video very quickly to let you guys know what's happening on the market and any news that comes forward. So again, guys, keep tuned, keep subscribing, keep liking, leave a comment. If you have any good 5G stocks that I'm not aware of right now, you can definitely swing it my way. But again, pay attention to Nokia. Also, I know AT&T and T-Mobile as well. They're doing um, some work in the 5G space to come out um, in the next month or so. So those are two ticker that you may want to keep your um, eyes glued to as well. Again, guys, I want to thank you very much and peace as usual.